This is a recording of a solemn speech by Tsar Nicholas II in French. It was delivered after the French President Émile Loubet had reviewed the Russian armies at Krasnoy Selo. The French President visited Russia in May 1902. The speech was also published in the Russian newspaper Vestnik that same year. Monsieur le Président, et vous, vous venez de voir le défilé, on se rend d'avoir pu rendre les honneurs aux chefs hautement destinés de l'État ami et allié. Les vices pratiques qui animent l'armée russe à l'égard de la belle armée française sont connues. Elles constituent une réelle fraternité d'âmes nous pouvons procéder avec d'autant plus de satisfaction que cette force imposante n'est point destinée à appuyer des visées agressives, mais bien au contraire à affermir le maintien de la paix générale, et à sauvegarder le respect des principes élevés qui assurent le bien-être et favorisent le progrès des nations. Je laisse mon verre à la prospérité et à la gloire de la belle armée française. As the music of the Russian national anthem resonated in the background, such eager exclamations greeted President Loubet upon his arrival at Kronstadt on May 7, 1902. Loubet was met by Tsar Nicholas II, and during his stay, he resided in a luxurious room at the Great Palace in Sarskoy Selo. While visiting the capital on May 9, Loubet participated in various festivities, mostly demonstrating symbolic gestures of diplomacy between France and Russia. The French president was met with great excitement, like Nicholas II and Alexandra Fedorovna before him, in Paris in 1897. Escorted through the city, the residents of the Russian capital cried out joyously, hurrah, and vive la France, while brandishing French flags and bearing pictures of Loubet. On the 10th of May, just before the president's departure, the Russian royals enjoyed breakfast with Loubet, aboard the French cruiser Montcalm. Since the boat itself represented a parcel of the French Republic, Tsar Nicholas expressed both a strong sense of solidarity between his and Loubet's country, and an especial delight at the thought of finding himself aboard a symbolic, floating France. Order now your copy of the Romanov Royal Martyrs, What Silence Could Not Conceal, which is an impressive 512-page book, featuring nearly 200 black and white photographs, and a 56-page photo insert, of more than 80 high-quality colorized images, appearing here in print for the first time.